Good evening. Hello. Hello, how are you? I was talking and talking and the microphone was off. <laughs> Hello, my dear students, how are you? I'm fine, very tired too. Oh, really? <laughs> It was a very yeah. difficult day again. Yep. Again. <laughs> again. A, a lot of things to do. Yeah, but in my house, I, well, my mother and I were, were in the house, the refrigerator, the freezer, and the store, the yard, oh my the God. bedrooms. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and it was like uh, we need to clean it's like we need to clean <laughs> and it's like yeah. that was like the most yeah. funny thing right? we we was we were the clean we were cleaning all the house all oh the my house. god well yeah it happens when christmas is near my goodness <laughs> when christmas is near all the mothers everybody wants to fix everything yeah and and we we were we were starting starting at eight p.m. eight oh, a.m. So eight a.m. So you started at yeah. eight in the morning. Uh, and we finished uh, six p.m. Oh my goodness! So yes, it was a lot of work. Oh my god! And then she 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 was missing something. I imagine. Y todavía le faltó arreglar algo. No, no. <laughs> it was done. <laughs> Thank God that yeah. you finished, right? Thank I don't God. know, right? But in my case, I clean. I I was cleaning the all all my things. Well, but that's good, right? So later on, you don't have to do it again. At least not for the rest of the year. Next year yeah. again. <laughs> okay, very good. Very good, excellent. Thank you, Eric, for sharing. Hello, Claudita, how are you? Hello, teacher, I'm fine. I am, I am very happy to listen to you. <laughs> so, so. Ah, I, I was missing you. Le pasó, le estuvimos extrañando. I couldn't see yesterday. Uh -huh. ah. Yes, I, I have, I am working. Ah, you are working right in the now. Office. Yes. Oh my goodness. But you are very responsible, you see. <laughs> yes. It's, it's not um how do you say yeah uh, okay, no quiera. <laughs> even if, even even if I don't want, you say. Ah, okay. Even if I don't want, you have to be there. So you have to be working. Okay. Yes. Well, today is a day for presentations and your friends are not here. Come on. So they're going to get a zero. Come on, come on. But <laughs> the two of you are ready. Even when you are working, you see, you are yeah. very ready. Let me send them a little message. And I know that some of your friends are sick. I mean, I have like two friends who reported sick, but the other ones are mm -hmm. are okay, right? They are nice and fine. They, they weren't sick. <laughs> they weren't the, sick the yesterday. Uh -huh. They weren't sick and yesterday. All the week too. <laughs> uh -huh. They were very healthy. Teacher. Yes. No why. Adela, Adela is starting in the working in yes. the office. Yes, she told me. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't stay in the class. Okay, so she's not going to be in class. She told me that she has to do the closing. Mm -hmm. But, uh, but I know that, that uh, she sent me a message about that. So hopefully she's going to send us the presentations later. Okay, so, uh, the sooner the better, we're going to start. You see, I, I always send the message and they are, maybe they are right now all in Kobe house and they are going to remember the class. 
I was like, hey, que no se acabó ayer el módulo. <laughs> and they are running right to the computer. <laughs> so we're going to start with you because we always honor the time and the responsibility, right? Very good. So, Claudita or Eric, you can start your presentations. Can I please? Tin, tin, tin. Right, we're going to go piedra, papel, tijera. <laughs> go, Mr. Eric, go ahead. So, good evening, teacher and Claudia. Uh, I'm going to talk about Eric. So, he's Eric. Uh, he's 18 years old. He's tall, angry, and sometimes shy. His favorite colors are black and red. Uh, he likes to listen to music. Uh, his favorite songs are Fiesta Pagana and Molino de Viento. He has three pets, two cats, uh, Siamesa and Manchitas, and a hamster, Stuart. He likes to play soccer. His favorite, uh, his favorite team he is Barcelona. His dream is travel to Spain, and he can, and he can watch, he can watches a Barcelona's match in life. So, he has a beautiful girlfriend. Her name is Lorena. She's twenty years old. Well. Continue about Eric. Uh, he likes the pet. Uh, he hates the beach and the coffee. But I don't know why uh, he's really weird that he likes the cool coffee. You know, he likes the cool coffee. And, and Eric has a excellent parents. Uh, thanks them, he's smart. His, his belief in God. And finally, he is a good person. Thank you very much, right? You hate the beach, really? Yeah. But why? I don't know because, like, how to say uh, arena in English? The sand. It's the sand in my eyes, in my mouth. <laughs> Everywhere. No, no, no. In my hair too. And I and I I take a shower in, in like and you still have sand there in your yeah. Life. yeah, I don't like the beach. I prefer uh the swimming. The swimming, the, the swimming pools, okay. So the cool coffee, cool coffee, no hot coffee, no the beach. Do you, but you like the mountains or, or the other places? Again? Do you like the mountains or, or any yeah. other place? Yeah, I like Not the beach. Yeah, I like the park. I like the mountain. Um, how to say bosque? In the forest. I like the forest. And I like all the places. Except, uh, but except, except, uh, except the beach. Okay. I don't like the beach. <laughs> okay, and what has been your experience in this module? Have you enjoyed the experience? Yeah. Uh, learning? In this module, I enjoyed all the moments because you give me a, a smart, a sm how do you say, Lisa? Uh, smiles, smiles. smiles. You give me all the smiles and, and I don't know, I enjoy your your classes. Oh, thank you very much, right? It has been my pleasure as well to serve you and to get to know you a lot, to see that you have improved, right? Every single thing, your pronunciation is improving, your fluency is improving. From the day that I met you up to today, you have improved a lot. And I know you are going to continue doing your best because you are learning English, right? You are studying that as part of your career. So keep on practicing that it's going to open a lot of doors. Yeah, Thank you, Mr. Mr. Eric. Thank you very much for sharing. Uh, who's going to be the next one? Claudita. Go ahead. 
Okay. Um, good evening, Hello, teacher good evening. Um, and, and partner. I talk about um, no, I have in, a uh, my life. <laughs> yes, um, my name is Claudia Sarabia. My favorite food is China. Chinese. Chinese food, Chinese. My favorite color is blue. Um, I I like to play basketball in the free time. And I I study in the university with uh, business business administ administration. 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 administration, administration, and I work as a account in uh, sometimes uh, I like to watch uh, dramas and <laughs> I um, my the, my family, I have two sisters, Yvette and, and Rachel. And I have one brother, it's Jaime. I have one boy. He, uh, his, his name is his name is Carlos. Um, I like uh, a pet in my house. Have one dog and one cat. Um, uh, the other and um, in the work, uh, sometimes uh, um, about the the shop with my my partner. Adela, Adela is, is my co work. You go yeah. shopping together. <laughs> yes, sometimes. <laughs> That's all. Okay, very good. And what was your experience in the module, Claudia? What did you like the most? Did you have any difficulty about learning, about the process, about the platform? In this model or, or the. No, in this the, one. In this one. Ah, okay. And the, this is. For me, is the, is the experience very good. Well. The, the topic is, is clear in the platform. Is this wood? The the person is is the talk uh, is low or, or what? But I I can to listen um, a different words. And for me, it's it's nice. Okay, you could you could understand everything cool. in a good way. Very good. Thank you very much, Claudita, for sharing. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Let's go with Crisia. Go ahead. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Uh, uh, my presentation. Uh, I'm talking with the topic. I'm learning in this module. Uh, in this module, I am learning to introduce to introduce to introduce ourselves to use the possessive possessive adjectives, and um, I to be able to to use and understand the present simple using the, using do or does. Uh, the uh, demonstrative pronouns. Uh, family members, uh, the present continues. For me, uh, a little bit difficult because I feel, uh, como se dice, siento que me, a veces me, se me olvida 
I sometimes forget. I some I sometimes forget the topic <laughs> because for for my work, eh, porque tengo mucho I a lot of work in my house in my work, eh, but but I'm like it. Um, I wait eh, speak English eh, really nice. O sea, Bien, uh, good. <laughs> good, yeah, that's the word, good, good. Uh, and, and thank you for your, for your passions, patience, ¿cómo se dice? Patience, patience. Patience, patience. And, and for, for, for your help, and, and thank you for everything. <laughs> thank, you. thank you very much, Crisia, because I mean, you are very participative, definitely. I, I really like the way you do it, the way you participate, the way you actually develop uh, every single thing on every single topic. So it was very good that you had the chance to actually participate in every class and also continue improving, right? Continue improving your English language. Hey, Gustavo is here. I thought he didn't have electricity. No, no, teacher. I was in the with my mom. It's because he told me yesterday, tomorrow I am not going to have electricity. And I was like, oh, okay. So it was true. I said he didn't it's have electricity. <laughs> okay, welcome. Welcome to your class. It is a very nice thing to have you here, right? Excellent. So uh, we are going to continue listening to Alexander Duran. Go ahead. Uh, teacher, I, uh, I, I, I talk. Uh, I had a ring the daily routine. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't worry, don't worry. Express, but I, express I, your presentation. Okay, but I can speak about me. Go ahead. About okay, and so I like this model because um, uh, is very happy my teacher. <laughs> Thank you. And, and the model is very good. And I don't have a difficult and in the moment the answer the question. And I think uh, I learning uh, so so much and uh, that's it but okay. i <laughs> and what was what was the presentation that you had prepared uh-huh uh, okay i uh, i read my my presentation my daily routine <laughs> go ahead go ahead it's two two person and mm -hmm. judith and alex uh -huh. uh, alex alex daily routine and judith what do you do when you get up in the morning? Alex, when I get up, I go to take a shower and and then put on my uniform. Judith, do you take your breakfast and you home? Alex, no, I don't. I take my breakfast in my job. <laughs> Judith, where do you work, Alex? Alex, I work at Disagro. Nice company. Judith, and... What do you do every day in your work? Alex, my position is about analyzing budget and sales and cost date. Judith, wow, it's so interesting. Tell me a little bit about your wife. Does she work near of you? Alex, yes, she works near of me. So I leave her at her job every day. Judy, what time do you go up to pick up her at her job? Alex, I pick her at her job at 5.30 p.m. every day. Judy, so what time do you arrive at home? Alex, we arrive at home around 7.30 p.m. Judy, it's so late. So what do you do at night? Alex, we take the dinner together and we connecting us and our English class. 
Judy, so what time do you go to sleep? Alex, we go to sleep almost 10, 13 p.m. Judith, thank you for your time. It, it was a pleasure to know your daily routine. Alex, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it was a very nice and creative presentation, believe me. It included all the topics that I wanted on the presentation as well. It was very nice. And you had the opportunity to actually develop the information about you and the structures that we have learned during the module. Congratulations. Good job, Alexander. Thank, thank you for thank sharing. You, thank you very much. <laughs> and Mr. Gustavo, go ahead. Okay, okay. Um, okay. I, I, I always love Gustavo's presentations. <laughs> they are very nice. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm sorry, I played with my dog. <laughs> okay, how I see myself? Gustavo's personal information. He was born in San Salvador on a Friday and November 26th at 6 p.m. He study from the age of seven in Montserrat to the present date, studying public accountant at the University UCA, UCA, in the capital. He is 22 years old and will be in his fifth and possibly, possibly last year of university. He likes and dislike. Okay. He likes to play soccer very much. In the afternoon, he likes to read manga and watch anime. Out of True. He doesn't not consider himself an otaku. He enjoys a lot. He rests at home playing with his dog or just annoying annoy them. He likes to watch TikTok and play on his computer or the PlayStation out. He always end up get grand angry. He doesn't like vegetable. He does, does not like being considered. He, he does not like to be washed. Time that he can use to rest. And he does not like spending money, only receive money. Dial activities. He get up at 5.13 a.m. in the morning and is at work from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Then he runs room to his class to start from 5.13 p.m. to 8 p.m. finish. Then he has dinner with his family and begins his class, English class at 9 p.m. When he finishes her class, does his homework, fall asleep, or rest with what he likes to do? My experience in the module, model. he learned new words, words and has been encouraged to speak a lot more. He does karaoke when he is alone to practice his fluency and pronunciation. He wants to continue learning even if it costs him because he is lazy. A challenge he faced. It has been difficult for him to study this module because he has been in the process of closing his university module. He has, he has had less time 
due to so many assignments in exam he has had, he promised that the next module will participate in learn a lot. Thank you. Okay, so thank you very much. You promise that you are going to participate and learn a lot. And that is very good. Thank you very much, Mr. Gustavo, for sharing about you. Mr. Noel, welcome to the class. It is a pleasure to have you here. Hello, I am here. Okay, Mr. Noel, are you ready to present? Eh, sobre que la presentación de uh, No, ya me voy. Um, <laughs> it's about you. Story I, did. I I I talk about the presentation like last last week and the previous days and the other days and everything. <laughs> you don't pay attention to me. No, it's about you. You are going to tell us about you, your experience on learning and how have you feel in the classes. Diez minutos y lo preparo. ¿Ah? Diez minutos no. y lo preparo. <laughs> no, it's right now. No, it's not. But uh, the thing is that, uh, okay, sorry. The, it's, it's not something that you have to prepare. You have to talk about Noel, the things that you like to do, the activities that you do uh, on your daily life. And how has been your experience in English Corporativo? What have you been learning, okay? I am going to go over some information. I am going to go over some information and then I'm going to come back for you to present, okay? Thank you. Okay. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, I am going to go here. Here we go, right? We have, we are here in the final class and for sure in our presentations, right? We are here in our presentations and in our final class. I wanted to share about, well, you know, all the things that we always do, practice your English as much as possible, ask for help whenever you need it, keep your cameras on all the time, attend all your sessions on time, participate as much as possible, cooperative, keep a cooperative attitude during class, and for sure, continue collaborating with your friends on the WhatsApp group. That is very important. Well, my dear students, and I know that it has been it's always a pleasure to teach you a, a lot about English. And for sure, I am going to give you today four different tips on why learning English is very important, right? So you have to learn English because it's a, it's a language for international communication, right? It is spoken in almost 53 countries as a first language and around 400 million people speaks English as the first language worldwide, right? Around the world. And for sure it's not all, it is also the most common second language in the world. According to the British Council, uh, 2 billion people in the world will be studying English by 2020, by last year. Only by last year, 2 billion people were studying English. For sure, it's highly likely that you meet someone from another country and you are going to be able to speak English together, right? It gives you an open door to the world and it helps, it helps you communicate with global citizens. In this reading, do you know all the words presented or is, is it any word that you don't know? No, teacher. I don't know what is the meaning of therefore. Therefore. Por yeah, tanto, yeah. por lo tanto. And highly? Highly, altamente. Ah, okay. Yes. Worldwide is alrededor del mundo. Okay, so how many people in the world speaks English? Uh, 400 million. 400 million people. 400 eight, 400 billion plus eight, because I have here eight more who are also in the job or in the way to speak English, right? Hello, Miss Wendy. It's a pleasure to see you. Sorry that I was pushing you. <laughs> Wendy, before we move on and for you to continue uh, doing or finishing what you were doing, can you tell us about your experience in the module? Repeat, please. Can you please 
can you please share about your experience in the module? Because Wendy was very busy, she was working, but she came here for a moment to be with us. Estaba trabajando, pero se vino un ratito aquí con nosotros porque eh, ahí la teacher la estaba fregando que por qué no venía. <laughs> yes, um, I am working now on the last week. Uh, oh. Uh -huh. Every day, it's very hard, my work, but one moment. I, I know, I know. So uh, in that case, so I am going to ask Wendy to share a little bit before I continue sharing uh, about English. So how was your experience in this module? ¿Cuál fue su experiencia en este módulo de aprendizaje, Wendy? In, in my opinion, uh, it's more uh, no sé cómo se dice, este, ¿cómo se llama? Repaso. A review. Review the, the many, many co contenidos. Content, 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 topics. In my opinion, okay. And I, I, I know uh, many, many, many contents. It's the same in the, the modules before module. Uh -huh. In the previous modules. Uh -huh. Previous, okay. But in this in this module, uh, I learned a uh, call, 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 okay. El, um, I call, no sé cómo se dice, <laughs> que lo vimos, esto ahorita, no, no me acuerdo. El, lo del final que vimos de la, de la plataforma, no estuve en las clases, pero sí en la plataforma. I know, I know. Um, no more. So the, the final topic that we studied was could and would, right? Would you like? Ooh, cool. Exactly cool. like that. I'm not pronunciation. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Mm -hmm. But I know, I know that even when it, it was difficult for you to connect and everything, it, you were there and you were learning. And I know, and I really appreciate that effort that you always do for you to continue improving, right? So um, Wendy, thank you very much for sharing a little bit of what you did in the, in the platform and everything. And I know that you completed every single exercise and for sure you are going to continue learning and improving more in the next ones because I want you to continue learning, okay? Don't I stop. Try, 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 try. I am listening music and uh, my pronunciation uh, you uh, ¿cómo, cómo se dice cuando tu profesor te, te lo como es que en español lo puedo decir en inglés no cuando te motiva <laughs> a que lo hagas you motivate uh, yes you you are uh, usted hace eso o sea, oh thank you very uh, much my, my pro the, the, the pronunciation uh, Try, try every day, all the time. Uh, I try for that's you. Good. Ah, yes. thank you very much. Yes, that, that's you, good. You remember, yes, um, the other teacher. Um, well, <laughs> but you, yes, repeat. Repeat, uh, and it's important, but uh, it's, it's a mejor. So thank you very much. I am going to continue doing it. In some cases, I, I feel that thank students you. are going to get angry with me because I say, okay, again, again, again. Yes, yes, and it is yes. necessary. It is necessary for you to improve. And my, my final purpose is that you improve your pronunciation. So thank you very much, Wendy, for that. Yes. And I am going thank to continue you. doing it with my students. That's pretty awesome. So that's why yes. I was telling you about this, you see, it's a, it's a language for international communications. And for sure, that's what you are doing, right? You are becoming part of this percentage of people who are now learning English and who are practicing more, right? Because in the future or in the, on the street, or if you are walking around, it is very common that you are going to find someone who speaks English as well. And then you are going to start practicing. It gives you access to more entertainment and more access to the internet because now many films, TV shows, books, and music are published in English, right? And they are produced in English. And by understanding English, 
you are going to have more access to this, right? You don't need to go to translation or subtitles, but uh, if you know English, you are going to have access to this type of information, improve your English listening and your reading skills as well. English is currently the language of the internet and 565 million people use the internet every day and 52% of the world's most visited websites are in English. So that's why you need to practice your English. Therefore, learning this language is going to give you access to over half of the content on the internet and which might not be uh, available in other language, just in English. For fun, for work, or for understanding English, you will be able to exchange information with more people online and to use more materials if you learn the language. So continue practicing. Any new word or any new vocabulary that you can find here? Otherwise. Otherwise. The other the available. Available. Otherwise. Disponible. Available. Mm -hmm. Disponible. It therefore is a, la dijo la therefore therefore eric what was the meaning of therefore ah se fue a chinear al hamster mister eric al hamster eric what eric suelte ese hamster <laughs> what's the meaning the therefore <laughs> what is the meaning of therefore uh, <laughs> I forgot por tanto por tanto <laughs> yeah I forgot <laughs> you see it's because I was calling your name and I was like Eric, 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 Eric and you didn't answer yo dije, bueno, se fue a chinear al hamster. No, I am my bed. Okay. So, ah, you were watching TV. That's why you were not paying attention. To no. <laughs> so, who's watching TV? TV? Ah, Claudita is watching TV. <laughs> yeah. I listen to the TV. So, so the, the TV is off. Okay, okay. Ya no vas a presentar ahí al hamster. It's okay. Well, so Noel, get ready because I am missing only two slides. English makes it easier to travel. As highlighted before, as mentioned before, since English is spoken as the first language in 53 countries and as a second language over 118 countries, learning the language makes it much easier to travel anywhere. Indeed, airport announcements, train timetables, emergency information, street signs are often available in English, including countries where the native language uses a different type of alphabet. It goes without saying that when traveling to a country where you don't speak the language, you are practically guaranteed to find someone who understands English. So it makes it, it's going to make it easier for you to travel. Any new word, new vocabulary? Announcement. Announcement. Dun, dun, dun. Announcement. Teacher pronuncia, eh? right? Teacher Nancy is high. announcing. Indeed. It's what high. is indeed? Indeed. Indeed. It's like um, en efecto. Okay. And uh, as high highlighted. As highlighted before. When you say as highlighted before. Uh, it's like when you say in Spanish, como ya lo mencionamos, como ya se dijo, como se presentó anteriormente, como se remarcó anteriormente, that it's highlighted. Highlighted is remarcar, recalcar. Okay, good. Anything else? Timetables. Timetables are the information tables that you find. For example, if you go to uh, la terminal and then you have 202, 205, uh, uh, the time that they go, the place uh, where they are going. So all the information tables that you can find in an airport, in a train station. So they are included. Okay. Un consejo. Solamente pido un consejo. 
¿Ya? Ah, bueno, últimamente sí he aprendido bastante. Hay cosas que yo entiendo, pero quizás lo que más temo es hablar, ¿no? Porque lo comprendo. O en algunas ocasiones veo las palabras y, y lo que hace mi mente es traducirla. Yo digo, no, no te acostumbres a traducirla, sino que comprenderla tal como son. Pero no sé, quizás el mismo miedo, no sé, no sé si todos nos sentimos identificados o algo que no no nos permite quizás terminar de, de aprenderlo. So, you know, the only solution for that, Noel, is that even if you make a mistake, do it. Aun cuando se equivoque, aun cuando sepa usted que se va a equivocar, aun cuando no es la pronunciación correcta, do it. Because the only enemy is you. You are your worst enemy at the moment of learning English. Creo que siempre, al aprender un idioma, el peor enemigo es uno mismo. No vas a poder. ¿Te vas a equivocar? ¿Se van a reír de vos? Mm, ¿Qué feo te va a salir? Mm, no, no lo vas a poder leer. And it's only here. And if you do it just like that, then it is going to start uh, becoming something natural, something fluent, something normal, right? Because that's the only thing. If you break the barrier of fear, you are done. But if you continue thinking that you are going to make a mistake, then it is going to be very difficult. So Noel, <laughs> break the barrier of fear and tell us your presentation. Ah, bueno. <laughs> uh -huh, but in English, go ahead. No Spanish. Yeah. Okay. Dear classmate and teacher, uh, uh, it was a um, pleasure to share a good time with you. I learned too much. Uh, I wish in the next year to uh, continue learning English. Uh, I wanted to speak and understand the English. The class. I uh, had a fun, fun. Uh, I was the best experience. Uh, I have a interesting teacher <laughs> because the class is super funny. I um, learn so much. Good. Thank you. What was the most difficult topic for you? I speak English and understand. I speak, any, uh -huh. any, y, um, al miedo. The fear, <laughs> the fear. The fear, yeah. Okay, so that is the one that you need to continue fighting for. So you know, one thing that can help you, Noel, uh, you can have this little group in WhatsApp with yourself, right? Create a group with someone and then delete the person. Haga un grupo ahí con alguien y borre a la otra persona. Y se queda solo usted en el grupo. Try to record an audio every day. Record an audio every day. Talking about your day, talking about any activity that you did in English every day. So maybe the first day is going to be only 30 seconds. The second day, maybe it's going to be one minute. The next day, one minute 30. The next day, three minutes, two minutes. Or, But the idea is that you record an audio every day. And that is going to help you to start practicing everything in English every single day, right? If you don't know uh -huh. what to say, if you don't know what to say, you can get a book in English and try to it's read. A, in, uh -huh. in my case, I I can speak a little bit in English. Uh, well, I I spoke in English alone, you know. I sp you speak English alone, and that's yeah. Good. Sometimes when I when I don't have when I didn't have a friend, I I speak alone. So that, that's a good thing, but I always recommend that you record yourself, okay? Si se pueden grabar, 
si se pueden grabar, cuando estén hablando del día a día, de las cosas que hicieron, de lo que pasó en el día, de cómo le fue y todo, eh, háganlo, grábense ahí en una nota de voz y de ahí se escuchan. And then you're going to say, um, no, but maybe that is not okay. That word is not correct. No, it is not like that. I, I said children and that's not correct, right? You are going to start correcting yourself at the moment of speaking. Or if you can do it with another friend, that's fantastic because that's even better, right? That's even better if you can do it with another friend and you can exchange the audios so you can listen to yourselves in, in English. So, Noel, that's a very good advice that I can share. Es un tip que le regalo ahí. Okay. It's a good tip. It's a very good tip, definitely. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Noel. No, I, am... uh -huh. Uh -huh. I do uh -huh. tengo dos primas que son allá. Allá están y a veces yo les escribo en inglés y les entiendo todo lo que me dicen. Y en una ocasión que ellas se pusieron a hablar en inglés uh -huh. y, y después solo se quedaron, me quedé riendo porque entre ellos estaban diciendo unas cosas de, no me acuerdo de quién fue, y me dijeron, ¿nos entendiste? Sí, le dije, y todavía no estaba en inglés corporativo. So you <laughs> see, <laughs> so you see, but that's a very good thing because you are doing your best in order to understand other people uh, at the moment of, of speaking. And that's good. I mean, talk to them. If you have friends from other countries, take the best advantage to practice with them, okay? That's very important. And for sure, uh, the fourth tip that I can share, English can make you smarter. Learning a foreign language enhances your cognitive and analytical abilities. Learning a new language can be difficult and it involves a lot of mental exercises. A research from 2012, Swiss, Swiss study, shows that learning a new language changes the brain structure, impacting the parts of the brain responsible for the memory, conscious thought, and it can make you more creative. In the long term, bilingualism can keep the brain strong and healthy into an old age and supports concentration and memory skills. On an individual level, it improves personality and increases the sense of self-worth. In simple words, learning a foreign language makes the brain stronger and more versatile. That's why I'm very creative. <laughs> new words, new vocabulary here. All the words. No, All the words. You... <laughs> smart, smarter. English can make you smarter. Smarter, más listo, más inteligente. Y learning, uh, no, learning, sí, for foreign. Foreign, foreign. foreign is extranjero. A foreign language is a language from other country. En, uh, en enhances. Enhances, elevates, increases. Increases, it's like engrandece. Expande. Any other one? Involve, involves. 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 It's encloses, right? Envuelve, right? Incluye. Ah. Okay. Research is investigation. Right? More questions? Teacher. Uh -huh. Yes. I think it was. Um, uh -huh. um, Billing Wilings. How do you But, say pronunciation? What is the pronunciation? You say, what is the pronunciation of bilingualism? By? Bilingualism. Um, bilingualism. 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 What's the meaning? Bilingualism. That you are able to speak two languages. That you are bilingual. 
Ah, bilingüe o Ajá. Ba oh. okay. ser bilingüe right? the, the action of being bilingual bilingual Ajá. any other question in the vers versatile ah, versatile Vers versatile sorry that I I, I lock the microphones. Apague los micrófonos, sorry. Versatile. That's a word. Versatile. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Any other question? Questions? Brain questions? is cerebro, right? Yes, your brain. And more versatile. Versatile. Versatile, it's exactly yeah. as in Spanish. Versatile. Ah, oh, okay. Self worth. Self worth that you appreciate yourself more. Ah. El valor o valor propio. That it's self worth. Increases the sense of self worth. You value yourself more. Okay. Te valoras muchísimo más por estar haciendo el esfuerzo de aprender otro idioma. Because you consider yourself smarter, more intelligent, and better. So, in brief, English helps you in four ways. It's the international language of communication. It gives you access to more entertainment and more access. And it makes it easy for you to travel and meet more people. And for sure, it's going to make you smarter because it enhances your abilities. It enhances your brain. It enhances your abilities to speak, your memory, right? And it says that even if you are older, your memory keeps improving if you speak another language. So please never stop practicing. And I shared these tips before and I'm going to share them again for you to continue putting them in practice, right? Set a goal all the time. Pónganse una meta. ¿Cuántas palabras quieren aprender cada día? ¿Qué quieren practicar? ¿Qué es lo que quieren mejorar? Find the, your routine. Eh, if you dedicate at least five to 10 minutes to learn English, it is going to be beneficial, right? Practice a lot. Singing with karaoke with the internet, with your favorite things, with your favorite movies, with your favorite manga, I don't know, anything in English. Practice a lot, right? You are not going to become an otaku, but practice a lot. It's important. The next one, learn phrases every single day, right? Learn new phrases for you to practice your English. It is very necessary that you do it learn phrases, practice vocabulary. If you learn new vocabulary, include it in your everyday activities because it is going to be beneficial for you to increase, for you to increase your span of learning, right? And uh, the next one. <laughs> Gustavo. I was in the middle of a very serious talk. What happened with him? <laughs> okay, are you kidding me? Okay, and time, I, time, time, right? I yo, could see Diablo and I. <laughs> you see, yo aquí en el medio de la práctica motivacional de que vamos, chicos, miren, que, que, and I open the chat and I read this. <laughs> but good thing, if you dream in English, it is doing changes here right the first time that you dream in english it means that you have internalized it was funny it was so fun go on yeah but it's good <laughs> it, it is good uh, they, they say that hay un estudio muy 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 aparte de esto que cuando usted ya sueña en inglés es que lo está internalizando Y ya lo logró. Solo, solo que por favor. No. Yeah, please. Don't do, it. Say, don't do it at 3 a.m. That's I the could only say thing. Diablo, what happened? <laughs>
<laughs> you see at three in the morning. Hey, Mr. Noel, it's nice to see your face. That is very nice. You see, I was in the middle of a very serious talk here. Aquí la gran plática motivacional. Niño, siempre den lo mejor de ustedes. And then the message. Sal mensaje salvaje aparece. Good experience. It's a good experience. Believe me, it's a good experience. Practice a lot, but practice when you are awake. Okay? Not when you are sleeping. <laughs> Record, record yourself. Hablan lengua, le dijeron. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, you have to, you have to be very, very careful on that. Okay, someone is on the way home. It's just like okay. Uh, well, on this video, we want to, we want to greet Mr. Uh, René Varillas. He's very sick, but uh, we say hello for him, right? Because we know that he's going to watch this video. René, get well soon. Okay, we miss you. We miss you in classes. But he's sick. He's very sick. But he's going to be better soon. Important, record yourself. The, the topic that I was uh, that I was giving you before, right? On 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 the audios. <laughs> Gustavo. <laughs> Stickers al baya parece como on, on the chico. I am here in the middle of all the motivational things and Gustavo is attacking me from all the different uh, sources. And that's good. Did you see the sticker that he sent in the WhatsApp group? So read new words and new phrases every single day. You have to read new things and phrases every single day. Read about the things that you like in English for sure, right? Read about the things that you like Message people in English. I really like when you send messages in the group, like the one that we have just received. It was in English. So it's good that you are improving up to that level, right? To send messages in the group in English. That's very nice. Watch movies. My recommendation is first watch the movie, maybe in Spanish with the subtitles in English. Then watch the movie in English with English subtitles. Later, watch the movie only in English with no subtitles. And you are going to go updating and uploading the level of learning. So keep, uh, keep it simple, watch the movies that you like and get vocabulary. Use a dictionary, it is always good. I can recommend you a couple of good dictionaries online that uh, that you can use. My favorite is a uh, word reference. It is very good. You can find pronunciation, vocabulary, and many phrases there. So I'm going to send you the link for you to use it. It's one of my favorite. And listen to yeah, the use it. listen to the pronunciation of the words. Thank you, Eric. It's because I always recommend it. Um, uh, if you go to Google, Google has the option of listening to the pronunciation of the words and it has the mouth. So you can actually see how to move the mouth at the moment of speaking. So these are some of the things that I can share for you to keep on practicing your English. Remember, practice is the only thing that's going to give you a very close look to perfection, right? I know that many, many different things uh, that you are doing are helping you to practice your English, right? Is now, there, is yes? that that the Google Translator is a, mis a mistake? Yes, in some cases it is. The problem is that you want to follow the idea as it is translated, right? Because English is not just translation. It has a lot to do with the meaning, with the sense, with the logic of the words. So it is not from the devil to use the translator, but analyze it, organize it, read it, clean it. I mean, organize everything and then use it. Try to translate only the words that are difficult, not the complete paragraph, right? Try to do it on the logic, right? On the order of ideas and then include maybe one or two things that you didn't, didn't know before, right? So 
Eh, hello, Mr. Gustavo. It's very nice to see you. You see, we were not going to finish this class without looking at you. It was very, <laughs> it was very good, right? Be careful with the things that you are going to do. I am going to send you right now to your bed, but please, Mr. Gustavo, don't do those things eh, at home, okay? Please pray before going to sleep. Mejor hay que, hay que orar. <laughs> but don't do that. <laughs> I know, yeah, all of you did it. So my dear <laughs> students, keep doing the great job that you do. It has been such a pleasure to serve you. And for me, it is going to be an honor to find you later on in a different module, a little bit more advanced, more prepared. And for sure, I am going to be waiting for you with a lot more knowledge to share. Thank you very much. Have a beautiful night. And this has been our last class ah, together. I am not going to cry. I am an adult. I Thanks for all teachers. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> Thank you for your time. It is not easy to be here at this time of the night, but I know you did a very good job. So this model was so so good. Thank you. It has been my pleasure to do my best to serve. Have a beautiful night. And I am not going to see you tomorrow because you are going to have vacation. So yeah. happy new year. You, Merry son. Christmas. Next month, Merry not, Christmas. Not play, no classes. It's not so, class. So, it's but I am going December. to see you in it's January. I have classes. It's, it's a break. break. It's a break. It's a break. It's only a little break, but keep on practicing, okay? It's a week. <laughs> We're going to have a little break. Have a beautiful night, my dear students. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Bye. Bye, my dear students. Bye.